Those all our sponsors and partners who were here today. Do you know what? Far too many to mention, but I have got to mention the Argos team because when we came in here, it was orange and it was min <laughs> minty, and the team, the team scrubbed and painted. And so I do appreciate everything that they've done. From our, our partners from um, Homeless Link who, who kind of believed in us and give us a, a, a grant. I'm going to get upset now. Don't. Um, <laughs> give us the opportunity to, to create this opportunity. Um, and, and everyone else who supported us today. I've got to say thanks to our, our patrons and our partners. John is, is always there, he, he hates me, he keeps deleting my number, but I keep finding it again. <laughs> Ricky, who kind of lo loves our girls and is always at our, our women's project. T to Gary, um, you know, it's always kind of like they're, all, <laughs> they're always giving, the, they're, they're always giving their time. <laughs> they're always giving the time to our members and we really do appreciate it. So from, from, from me to you, a massive thank you for coming today and cheers, enjoy the rest of the day. <laughs> more to say, I'd probably speak for, for Ricky and Gary and everyone else who's ever been involved. It's an it's a admirable project and you know, I first got involved, I think as I've mentioned in the past with John, uh, God, 2012, when I turned up with a comic relief to do some <laughs> filming and we played Five Aside and it was, uh, there's not more humbling than to play Five Aside with homeless people and get nutmeg. Uh, <laughs> it really brings you down to it, and, uh, but that interaction, because football gives you that interaction, it gives you a laugh, it breaks a barrier, I just kept coming back, and I think I can speak for everybody else, you know, as a city that's built on sports, and we love our football, yeah, we yeah, love yeah, the yeah. rivalry, but we also love the sense of community, and I think what this project has done is tapped into that in a very unique way, and this is a brilliant, brilliant vehicle to try and get everybody outside in here and break some of the taboos about homelessness and some of the problems that people face because 
you come in and you break bread with somebody and you have a cup of coffee and somebody saves you and you don't know their history, you find a little bit about their life, then maybe next time you'll think twice about walking past the yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Thanks to John for just giving us all the opportunity to be play a very, very small part in something that's bigger than all of us. Thank you. I've got not to add to that. I've only come here today to see Gary do his handstand. I tell you what, that makes no no make by homeless people sound. <laughs> no, listen. I, I, it, what he said is, we're all scousers, and I, I know. People say it's a cliche, it's not a cliche. I love Liverpool. Yay. I love Liverpool people. And I might let myself down from time to time. I would never let the people of Liverpool down. And this is just part of that old being. And whatever he, when he picked the phone up, Reed will say, it's Annie from the Florida. I'll say, what does she want? Where have we got to go? How much have we got to give her? And this is the same. We're all scouts and we love the place and we wouldn't live anywhere else. Uh, it's not so much illness, it's disadvantage as well, and for someone who started life from behind the eight ball, it's, uh, as John said, and Ricky just said, come in here, share it with them, uh, make it a success, make this place the home that it is, like Liverpool people do. We get stuck in, and we support a good cause, and this is very much a very good cause, so come and support the Back Kitchen. Thanks everyone. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Cheers, coffees, and there's more food coming out. Thank you very much, everyone. Cheers. I must just tell you. Hello. <laughs> <laughs>